Welcome back. As we promised, we are going to shed more light on an important conference which is going to be uh, held uh, under the auspices of the Ministry of Endowments and it's going to be entitled The Role of Women in Building Awareness. This is going to be the 35th International Conference of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs but this is the core of this edition of the uh, conference and to shed more light on the issue and shed more light on the agenda of the conference of its purposes its goals and the preparations uh, which are taking place even as we speak by the ministry we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Dr. Asma Al Zaini international relations and cooperation official at Al Azhar thank you very much for being with us Dr. Asma and a very good morning thank you and good morning uh, let's start uh, with a um, brief idea about the uh, conference itself and about the topic chosen to be the core of this edition. Yes, the, top, the, the conference is going to be held as by the end of this month uh, from 25-26 of August. Mm -hmm. uh, the conference is held by the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, which is uh, the Da'wa wing of the Ministry of Islamic Endowment. Mm -hmm. uh, the council is, is, is uh, chose a very smart uh, theme for to, uh, this year's uh, conference, uh, the, the role of women in building awareness. This comes, uh, uh, goes in a line with the general uh, strategy of the Egyptian state 2030, and especially the theme of empowering women. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the Ministry of Islamic Endowment <clears throat> announced the year 2025 as the year of Wa'idat, the, the, the female uh, teachers. Yeah. Uh, uh, this year is specialized, and uh, for in this year, women, uh, women Wa'idat, uh, female Wa'idat, are given the chance to uh, hit more light, to shed more light on their uh, role in Dawa and the efforts that, that they uh, exert in this field how they became an, a, a successful model because uh, the Wa'idat in the Ministry of Islamic Endowment reached more than 600. Yeah. And great number of them are uh, holders of uh, Master's and PhD degrees, which is something that we are so proud of. And uh, um, the conference, yeah. it is going to, to, to highlight number of very important uh, themes that we are going to tackle. Amen to that, and even that the the theme itself, uh, it's eye catchy to uh, to read. It's building awareness, not only spreading awareness, yeah. building yeah. awareness meaning from scratch, and and yeah. this is such a huge responsibility how to qualify the um, the Egyptian wa'adat or the women preachers to shoulder this responsibility and to convey the message to other women cadres in general whether via NGOs via uh, um, for the teachers in universities and here I'm talking about teachers starting from kindergarten from yeah. uh, the very early ages of our yes. uh, schools. Tell me more yes. about that and what are the programs implemented on the ground to achieve this goal? Actually, the, the one who follows the rule played by female preachers feels that we are, we are following a, a steps which are going to lead us to a very uh, special status for our country. Because, mm. as you said, it is not only by having a number of these female preachers, it, it is about how to prepare them, how to build their capacities, how to, how to give them the, the true chance, to give them the space and the, the perspective to, 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 to perform their best. Yeah. serve our community in the field of teaching and da'wah and, and, and you said not, not just by having awareness it is a process, a complete process of building it has different, different uh, 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 a concrete frame with the steps to follow with goals to achieve and, and by giving uh, all the support for female preachers to perform their role the woman, so this conference yeah. is one of these steps Yes, amen to that, and to have a real program with, yeah. with, uh, with the tangible results on the ground, as far as I understand, it depends on different axes or in different, on different pillars. If you want to yeah. shed more light on these pillars too. Actually, there are so smart teams. Uh, there are five main goals or, or themes of the conference, which are so, so important. 
The first is uh, uh, the role of uh, female preachers in uh, building uh, religious awareness. Second is the role of female preachers in building religious awareness. Third is the role of uh, uh, women generally and female preachers especially uh, in building uh, families and raising children. The role of, uh, of female preachers in our community, their participation in the community. And generally speaking, building and raising and, and, and taking care of, uh, of, of the, uh, the real meaning of awareness, not just by, by, by slogans and speeches, it is by what is really achieved, what we really mean, at what, what we really achieve by building this awareness. Dr. Asma, of course, there is a criteria or there are yes. specific characteristics to, uh, to, uh, to have a female preacher because yes. uh, this needs a lot of patience, a uh, smart way of dealing with people, knowing well how to convey the idea in a very smart manner that, um, that makes the, those uh, recipients... Um, do not feel that they are pressured to uh, to uh, to have this piece of advice or to get uh, this these knowledge. What yes. what's the criteria or how the female preachers are chosen in the first place? Actually, the process of choosing uh, the female preachers is a very long process. Mm. Uh, for example, whenever we have an announcement about the need for new preachers. Maybe uh, thousands may apply for the, the, the job or the, the announcement, but actually uh, who are chosen goes by through, goes through very, very strict uh, kind of tested and interviews and everything to, uh, for the aim of choosing the best, the, the best among the best mm. of all who are apply. After that, when they are chosen, it is not the end of the process. It is the beginning of preparing them for taking this hard task. Mm. Dealing, you know, dealing in Dao and dealing with the public is a very hard task because, uh, for example, when you deal with, with the students or at university, school at university, or your university or university, you deal with uh, a like mindset. Students mm. are studying the same subject, but dealing with public, with people with different interests, different levels of culture and different levels of education, having their own problems, this is a very hard task. Yeah. That they, they, they are prepared by many, many training courses and building capacities and, 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 and follow-ups for their meetings with the public and providing them with the up-to-date in, in this field. And I believe that the conference, one of the purposes of holding this year's conference is also shedding light on the role of, of female preachers and giving them the chance to be aware of what, what's up-to-date in the field am up to date or yeah. to amend the rules on the way because we should yeah. be that flexible knowing well that every day we should learn something new and we should adapt with current changes and challenges in the same time uh, how do you see this as one of the main points or the very uh, important points which uh, um, any preacher, whether a male or a female preacher, should take into consideration because coping with the latest changes, yeah. with the latest circumstances, I think it's part and parcel of their job. Yes, I believe that it, especially in, in today's world, we are uh, facing uh, dif different types of challenges in our daily life. And it is laid on the shoulder or it is laid upon the shoulder of female and male preachers to how to deal, how to uh, how to uh, uh, help people and support them at the time of these challenges for themselves and for the public and for their families and workplaces. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, many many challenges, uh, not only in Egypt, all over the world, and yeah. these challenges affect the quality of our life, our psychology, our mentality, our how how each one deals with his own affairs. Yeah. And we as Muslims, uh, alhamdulillah, in Egypt as key Egyptian, generally Muslims and the Christians, feel that they are in need to this kind, this special kind of support from preachers yeah. by, by, by default, by nature. Amen so to that. The, the role they, they play is but so Dr. Asma, we cannot deny that we do have a culture. I mean, yeah. uh, our culture is that when it comes to a preacher, he should be a he. I mean, yes. uh, a yes. male preacher. <laughs> but to accept 
that there is a female preacher who can shoulder this responsibility and uh, perform the job in the best way ever, I think this needs a lot of efforts. Tell me how our people, how the layman in the street, how the simple families in our rural areas in the countryside are receiving female preachers. Uh, now, I'm not going to say on equal foot, but at least to know that give her a chance and then judge how she is going to perform this mission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, uh, female preachers are needed for special purposes because sometimes you are comfortable with speaking with a male preacher, but sometimes you feel that the one who is going to understand your mentality, your feelings, your situation, you need a female to listen to you in some situations, especially yeah. in some marital uh, problems and, 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 and re problems related to raising children and these kind of problems. This was a, 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 smart, a, more, a, a smart step from the Egyptian state to, to insist on having special category of preachers, female preachers, for this situation especially. Yeah. And if you look at the places they go to, you feel happy. They go to prisons, they go to uh, uh, care centers, they mm. go to some public like coffees and, and clubs and, and during the special events, during the Hajj time, during the exam time, they may go to some schools. You feel that the, 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 the state understood the special need to, to, to having a support for special categories at a special time. And, and, and we, as we said before, uh, training uh, uh, female uh, uh, teachers and male also is something so crucial. Uh, as Very long as crucial. We, we are uh, yeah. following the steps of this, I'm sure that we are going to reach our goals. Yes, very well said, Dr. Asma. Dr. Asma, uh, let me return with you to the conference, which I think it's going to be such a platform and such an opportunity for preachers to meet. And here yeah. I mean female preachers to meet and to exchange their visions to exchange yeah. ideas and to even uh, discuss their problems together or the, I'm not going to say problems, the challenges they are facing and even yeah. to meet with yeah. those who are shouldering this responsibility with them. Simply His Excellency Minister of Endowments, Dr. Osama Al-Azhari, he himself is a preacher. So yeah. he would easily know what are the problems the preachers are facing and here particularly female preachers. If you want to elaborate on that too. Actually, the, 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 the holding of number of, conf, a number of conferences in Egypt lately, something that's so good as uh, uh, what, what we call the diplomacy of conferences is something essential for, for a state. We need these conferences for exchange the experiences and, 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 and to know more about what, what the people in the same field are doing, as you said, may correct the, the past for some female preachers and may give them a chance to, to be aware of what other, maybe other teachers from other countries are doing in the same field. And also, it is, we need this as Egyptian state to let people know uh, to what level our preachers, our teacher, female preachers reach it what yeah. they are doing, to shed more and more light on the role they are playing in our community, the, the whole experience, how it began, how it, is, it, how it developed, and, and where, where we are now. This is one of the most important outcomes that Egyptian state gets out from the, the holding of these numbers of conferences. And I believe Minister uh, Osama al-Azhari is going to give uh, female preachers the full chance during the conference to express themselves and to gain, uh, to gain experiences of from others, inshallah, during this. Inshallah. Uh, regarding social media, regarding the um, modern technologies and stuff like that, I think now it's a must, it's not a luxury anymore to let all our preachers in general, and here of course we are going to focus on our female preachers, to use social media and to know well how the social media can be a double scissor weapon and how to benefit from social yeah. media or to take it on our side, if I may call it this way, and to avoid all the harmful, negative mm -hmm. impacts of social media. If you want to also elaborate on that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, social media, pl different platforms in our world today, 
became something uh, we cannot do without. Uh, there are some, if there are some areas, if you are not there, you are not anywhere. Yeah. You, you, if we are not going to to uh, to uh, be able to deal with with all uh, age categories, uh, different mentalities, people using social media, people the bandic. Still, we have in our community people who are a little bit classical, and but we need to adapt to the different. Uh, tools that the youth are using every day, and I believe that some of the campaigns that the Ministry of Islamic Endowment uh, held with uh, the help of other councils like the National Council of Women to be on these uh, platforms is something successful till now. Yeah. One final question, Dr. Asma. Are we going to have female preachers from other countries who are going to also participate in this conference or it's going to be dedicated only to Egyptian female preachers? Yes, it is an international conference and I believe there are a number of officials from different countries are participating in the conference. Inshallah. Dr. Asma, thank you very much for your input and have a very good day. Right after the short break, we are going to return back with more, so stay tuned.